India is now officially in the race to build unmanned combat aircraft. Its first major step, the CATS Warrior, a combat drone designed to fly alongside fighter jets and take on high-risk missions without putting pilots in harm's way. Developed by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited or HAL in partnership with Tata Elixi, the Warrior is part of India's combat air teaming system, a broader effort to integrate unmanned platforms with existing air assets. It's built to function as a loyal wingman, supporting manned aircraft by carrying out strike missions, surveillance and electronic warfare, all autonomously or in coordination with a lead fighter. One of the most striking aspects of the project is how quickly it has taken shape. A full-scale demonstrator of the CATS Warrior was completed in just 14 weeks, an unusually fast development timeline that signals India's growing confidence in agile defence R&D. Importantly, this has been achieved with indigenous technology, a reflection of India's broader push under the Make in India programme to reduce dependency on foreign platforms and suppliers. Where India is betting on speed, cost control and indigenous capability, other global powers are taking different routes. The United States, for instance, has been working on its own lawyer wingman program through Boeing's air power teaming system designed to operate alongside advanced fighters like the F-35. This UCAV is heavily focused on AI integration, stealth and modularity. It offers high-end features and seamless integration with the US military's existing infrastructure but comes at a much higher price point and with a slower development cycle, backed of course by much larger budgets. Meanwhile, China's GJ-11 Sharp Sword takes an even more opaque approach. First unveiled in 2013, the GJ-11 is a stealthy twin-engine combat drone capable of carrying precision-guided munitions. Its design leans heavily toward long-range strike roles and recent tests have shown a naval variant GJ-11J operating alongside China's Type 076 amphibious assault ship, suggesting it's being integrated into a broader strategy of maritime power projection. While details remain limited, its development points to China's intent to match or overtake US capabilities in unmanned aerial systems. When seen side by side, the CATS warrior brings a different set of strengths to the table. For one, its estimated cost of around $53.5 million in initial development funding is far lower than the billions poured into the US and Chinese projects. More importantly, its public-private model, combining HAL's aerospace experience with Tata's private sector agility, reflects a maturing defence ecosystem that's learning to move faster without compromising autonomy. That autonomy matters. India's geographic challenges, particularly on its northern and western fronts, require fast, flexible systems that can operate in denied environments. The Warrior is designed to do just that penetrating airspace guarded by advanced air defence systems, conducting preemptive strikes and supporting manned missions without increasing pilot risk. And because it's designed and built in India, the system avoids entanglement in export restrictions, foreign tech dependencies or cyber vulnerabilities tied to imported platforms. There is still ground to cover. The Warrior must undergo operational trials, improve its onboard autonomy and integrate smoothly with IAF fighters, but the strategic intent is clear – to build a future where manned and unmanned systems work together, affordably, indigenously and on India's terms. In that sense, the CATS Warrior isn't just a technological demonstration, it's a statement. It shows that India doesn't need to match US or Chinese spending to stay relevant. It simply needs to build what works fast and in line with its own strategic realities. That's exactly what the warrior represents – a focused, cost-effective path into the future of air combat.